The shy, secretive pangolin is the world's only warm-blooded animal covered in scales. To protect themselves, pangolins roll into a tight ball, effective against all predators except people. For those pangolin who are rescued from the illegal wildlife trade, it is a long way home. The wildlife trade is a brutal industry. Animals can go weeks without access to food or water and are often suffering from serious wounds from snares and traps. In wildlife markets, pangolins are sold by weight and so hunters will often force feed limestone slurry or inject water beneath the animal's skin to increase profits. Rescued pangolins are almost always weak, dehydrated and starving. Once rescued, pangolins undergo a 30-day quarantine period at the rehabilitation centre under the careful care of our wildlife keepers. The long journey to mental and physical recovery begins with quality veterinary care. To feed the animals, live ants must be collected. Long-term cases are eventually transitioned onto frozen ants and ground silkworm larvae. Pangolins are one of the most difficult species to manage in captivity. Uh, they need specialised diet, well-designed housing, quality veterinary care, and all of this has to happen in a minimal stress environment. When pangolins come into our quarantine center, our staff work incredibly hard. Even just searching for ants in the forest can take hours. A rescue of 70 animals requires around 21 kilos of live ants, and our only alternative to that is buying frozen farmed ants, which can cost upwards of US $4,700 a month. Pangolins requiring long-term care are housed in large, naturalistic enclosures, mimicking their habitat in the wild. Our goal when rescuing any pangolin is to rehabilitate and return them to the wild. Animals are deemed suitable for release if they are fit, healthy and free of disease. Save Vietnam's wildlife uses radio transmitters to track pangolins released into the forest and collects data on the release process. Release sites are chosen after careful habitat assessment involving camera trapping and walking spotlight transects. This helps to ensure released animals survive and support wild pangolin populations. These sites are often far away from Save Vietnam's Wildlife's Rehabilitation Center, often meaning journeys of thousands of kilometers to release animals safely. Staff work hard to ensure pangolins are comfortable during their long journey home. Releases always occur at night time to give the pangolins, nocturnal creatures, the best start possible. Our team's work doesn't stop after the release as our field team continues to monitor the animals via radio tracking and camera traps at burrow entrances. The rescue rehabilitation and release of pangolin is a vital component to saving this critically endangered species. However, to have a real resource, we need to engage a multi-faceted strategy. Save Vietnam's Wildlife works with the Vietnamese government to improve law enforcement to combat illegal wildlife trading and improve habitat protection. We conduct social surveys to understand the motivations of pangolin consumers and target groups so we can create effective demand reduction campaigns. Save Vietnam's Wildlife also educates the public, raising awareness and reducing demand for pangolin products. The public is also encouraged to participate in our conservation activities and wildlife education programs.